Hello YouTube and welcome to my video. I'm going to be building a beam for lifting things into my attic and it is going to have mounted on it in some fashion uh, this. It's a 440 pound electric cable hoist. So feel free to come along on the journey with me as I build this thing out of uh, mostly scrap materials. The only piece that I actually purchased was the uh, cable hoist itself. somebody coming to look at it tonight so hopefully they buy it and that way I can buy myself a plasma cutter. pretty much ready for welding. There's a bit of a big gap there, but I don't really care. The hoist that I got is only 440 pound hoist, so I won't be lifting anything up there that is heavier than that. So unless I'm really, really bad at welding, this will hold together. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of preheating on this. Somebody's coming to by my compressor, so I might be interrupted in the middle of this and have to start all over again. So. Okay, hopefully that's warm enough. Keep in mind, I'm not a welder, and this is just a uh, little Lincoln. I'll show you here. 
little Lincoln MIG Pack 10 thing, but uh, I'm quite impressed with the, the weld. I know it doesn't show very good. I'm going to have to wire brush it off. Oh, look! The air compressor's gone. That means I'm getting a plasma cutter. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but I'm very, very happy with that, even on a single pass. Okay, so I've got this piece all welded up. It's ready to go. I need to make some brackets for it, so I have to do some measuring. Take a look up in the attic here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a bracket <clears throat> that will hook over the top of these. I think what I'll do is just use some angle iron, make it so that it hooks on over the top like an L the whole beam will be able to slide back and forth when it's not weighted. Okay, so I've figured out my design for hanging it. I'm going to try to draw it out for you guys here. I've kind of sketched it out quickly on this piece of paper, but I'll redo it here to kind of show you what I'm talking about. This is the beam from the side. Then the joist 2x4 will be like that. So directly off the top of this piece, I'm going to run some of this stuff like so. About four and a quarter inches high to the top here. So the roller is going to be about two and a half inches high and this is going to be about four and a quarter. Then what I'm going to do, I don't think I lined this up properly, but anyway, uh, I'm going to use a piece of this flat plate, which is three inches wide, and cut into the tubing here an inch and a half and then come up out of that. I drew this dimension too far but and I'm going to use a piece of angle iron on the top like so and I'm going to weld this onto here this gap here will be almost nothing there will only be maybe a half inch gap there so this will be a lot closer to this so I'm cutting in here so I can get a really good weld around this area I'm using this square tubing so I can get a nice weld on four corners around this. And I'm using angle iron so it'll fit over my joist. And it'll be the other way of course. But uh, it'll allow me to slide it back and forth on my joist. And I'll either weld the little tab on here so that it can't fall off the joist. 